Good morning, Willowbrook. Our devotional passage today is Genesis chapter 18, verses 16 through 21. The passage today is a bit of a bridge between when the Lord visited Abraham and Sarah to tell them they would give birth to a son and Abraham bargaining with the Lord to save Sodom from destruction. Now, even though it's kind of a transition from one great Bible story to another, I think there is something important in these few verses. So let's dive a little deeper and see. Earlier in chapter 18, we learned that Abraham's visitors are the Lord and two angels. Verse 16 starts by saying, When the men got up to leave, they looked down on Sodom, and Abraham walked along with them to see them on their way. Now, I think this was a common practice of the day. Most of the travel was only on trails. There was no Google Maps. So to get them going in the right direction, the host would walk along for a ways. And as they walked, the Lord spoke. The scripture does not say who he was speaking to, but most likely the other two men, the angels. Verse 17 says, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation, and all the nations of the earth will be blessed through him. For I have chosen him, so that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just. So the Lord may bring about for Abraham what he has promised him. Okay, here we go. The Lord says, Shall I hide from Abraham what I'm about to do? Now why does he say that? I think the Lord is speaking in the language of man so that man can really understand. And the answer to that question is no. So why did God choose to reveal his plan to Abraham? Well, I think there are a few reasons. First, Abraham is a friend of God. He has been given a favored position. And because of his closeness to the Lord, he wants to include him in his plans. God wants to share his secrets with those that have an intimate relationship with him. Second, Abraham being chosen by God has an important part in God's plan, not only for Israel, but for the whole world. I think that one of God's reasons for revealing the fate of Sodom to Abraham before it happened is he wants all to understand that there is an ultimate punishment for wickedness. It was very important that the nation that would be brought forth, the children of Abraham, would learn and remember that there is only one outcome to sinfulness. Sadly, it's a lesson that they never really learned because we see just such judgments occur over and over in their history. But God's revelation here was to serve as a warning to the fate of all unrighteousness. And thirdly, I think that because of the loving relationship that God has with Abraham, he desires to give him the opportunity to intercede for the people of Sodom. They were so close that the Lord knew Abraham's heart and he would try to save the people of Sodom. The Lord wanted to hear his friend's thoughts. So as always, there is a lot to learn even from a short passage. So just to sum it up, I learned that the Lord wants us to know him deeply. He wants us to teach our kids and our grandkids about him. And he wants us to prayerfully intercede for our family, our friends, our church, and our city. Have a great day, Willowbrook.